Hello everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 LS video for our tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to install custom pullover. Custom pullover is amazing. Big shout out to the creator also. Uh, big shout out to the creator. So what we're going to do is show you how to install this. What this does right here is we all know when you pull over AI without custom pullover, they stop wherever they want to stop. They just create traffic jams that makes it so unrealistic. This right here makes the game feel more realistic because you can find a location that you want them to pull over at and uh, be safe on your traffic stop. So what we're going to do is show you how to install this. The very first thing that you're going to want to do is go to your GTA 5 main directory. If you guys do not know where that is, if you have it through Steam, just go to Grand Theft Auto 5, right click, manage, browse local files. We're going to pull up our GTA 5 main directory right here. We're going to make sure that we are not clicked on any folders. If we are, it will be highlighted like you see right there. I'm just going to click over here to the side and we are going to go ahead and download this file real fast. So I'm going to click download this file. And we are going to go to agree and download. We're going to go to main files, custom pullover, and the most updated one. I'm going to click download here. And once that is done downloading, I use WinWar to open up my zip files. So um, that is how you open up your zip files. If you have not gotten WinWar, just uh, W-I-N-R-A-R. -R, type that into your web browser. It will pop up for you. But we are going to go ahead and go ahead to Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory. And make sure that you are not dragging this over to a folder. Drag it over here to the side. So what you want to do is take this plugins folder. Drag and drop over here to the side. Click replace the files in destination. If it asks you to. If it doesn't ask you to. That means you never had the files in the first place. And it just installed them for you. So if we go inside this download right here. I'm going to show you inside the download. Then we'll show you inside GTA 5 main directory. Go to plugins. LSPDFR. Custom pullover.dll, custom pullover.ini. Then are the files that came with the download, okay, that we just installed. So I'm going to X out of this download. We're going to go inside our GTA 5 main directory. We're going to go to our plugins folder. We're going to go LSPDFR, and we are going to go ahead and find custom pullover. So custom pullover right here, you're going to see a file, and it's going to say right here, you're going to see the gear icon with the piece of paper right here. That's the one that you're going to want to use, and you're going to right click on it, and you're going to click edit. Okay, so inside here, you can edit the key binds in here. You should be able to open it up with Notepad, okay? So if it asks you what you want to open it op up with, just click Notepad. So inside here, it's going to tell you some stuff. I'm going to walk you through it. Do not set this to shift. So don't set anything to shift. If you set anything to shift, as in changing your key binds in here, it's going to cancel your traffic stop. Obviously, you don't want to be pulling someone over and cancel the traffic stop because it gets annoying. So right here... This one is left control key and T. This one right here is traffic stop follow modifier key. What this means is if I hit left control key and hit T at the top and I'm in front of the vehicle that I want to pull over to a certain location, I can hit left control T to have that vehicle follow me. Okay. So, and we'll show you that inside the game. I do not use this one. I've never seen a cop get in front of someone to tell them to follow them. Um, but we are going to go right here to the next one. Traffic stop mimic modifier key left control key and r you have to hit these at the same time left control could be is going to be all the way down in the left hand corner of your uh, keyboard down at the bottom and then obviously you're going to want to use r but we're going to change r because what r does is when you hit r on there it blurps the siren and makes the driver just take off so we're going to backspace on that and put the capital letter u okay the letter u as in union and what we're going to do is the next one that you see right here. And what Mimic does, again, is when you're behind the vehicle, the vehicle will follow whatever direction you drive. So you hit left control R or left control U now. If you hit left control U now, um, the vehicle, when you're behind it, it will follow to the location that you want it to completely stop at. And I'll show you that here in a second. The next one is custom pullover location modifier key. What this does, it's left control key and W at the same time. What this does is brings up a red icon that you can move around with your numpad to the right side of your keyboard and put it to a certain location. Whether it's in a parking lot or wherever it is, the driver will make their way over to the location that you uh, you choose. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because down here, a lot of people 
well, not everyone. I, I know most people have the full keyboard, but a lot of people don't have the numpad. And I've noticed that when I do tutorials where they don't have the numpad to the right side of their keyboard. If you do not have the numpad to the right side of your keyboard, you're going to want to change these keys up that work the best for you. I do not know which one is going to work the best for you because I have the numpad, but these ones are going to be the ones that you want to change. So this works for you. Okay. And, uh, I mean, you could still have this work and not even use this right here. You could just use the mimic one or have them follow you. So if you don't have the numpad, but since we did change this over to the letter U, we're going to hit file. We're going to click save. And we are going to go to GTA 5 main directory, and we're going to start this game up. I'm going to jump over to GTA 5. Okay, so we're inside GTA 5. I'm going to go ahead and show you what you have to do to use custom pullover. As long as you have your LSPFR loaded up and all your plugins loaded up, custom pullover is a plugin, and it will be working for you. So we have a vehicle pulled over right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cancel traffic stop. And then I'm going to let that vehicle go, and we're going to initiate a stop on it again because it's not the smartest person driving. But as you see, sometimes they pull over to a location that's good. Sometimes you want to be on the passenger side, and this gets really annoying because they're on that side. And when you call a backup unit, and the, passenger, the backup unit will go to the passenger side and fall off the bridge, which is stupid. So we're going to hit Control U. So left Control U on our keyboard. That will make them mimic you. So say I want them to go past the uh, guardrail on the side and keep going forward. You have to kind of stay behind them a little bit slow because every once in a while they will uh, slam on their brakes. So say I want them right here. I'm going to stop. I'm going to hit control U one more time. So left control U and I'm going to pull up on this vehicle. So there's my traffic stop. I feel, I, I feel comfortable with this traffic stop. I get out, go to the passenger side. Don't have to worry about traffic. So say that you want them in a different location. You can do it this way. You can hit left control W and you'll have a red icon that comes up. Okay. If you hit the number eight on your numpad, it will make it go forward. If you hit two on the numpad, it'll make it go back. If you hit four, it'll make it go left. And if you hit six, it will make it go right. So say I want them to go up here a little bit more to the right. I'm going to hit, I'm going to go up, find my location and then I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to follow them. You have to stay with them. Sometimes they go back on the road. But I'm going to follow them. They're going to go to a location that I chose. And there we go. All right. So now let's say that you want them to follow you. So you get in front of them. And you can hit left control T. And now this vehicle will start following you. So say I want to take this vehicle all the way up here to this parking lot. We can go all the way up here. And get that vehicle off the highway and we'll hit control T one more time to stop it from following us and then we can bust a nice u-turn right here and uh, get behind it and there you go so you guys now have it done again control left control U will make them mimic you hit it again they will stop mimicking you left control W will bring up the icon and you can make a move wherever you want them to. Or you can do left control T and have them follow you. Okay. So thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed this and this does help you out, do me that one favor. Help me out by reaching 100,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Smash that like button. Show some love. And I really do appreciate it. Y'all stay blessed. Stay safe out there. More tutorials coming soon. Tons of tutorials already on the channel. Uh, just to make your LSP to far that much better. See you on the next one. Peace.